Enough of the uh, crypto BS, eh? Holy shit, what the hell is going on in the crypto space? But anyways, okay. Let's talk about what's going on in the real world, right? Like crypto is its own little world. Let's talk about what's going on in like the stock market, the NASDAQ, the S&P, um, growth stocks, right? This is the shit that I... Th- we've been watching right the nasdaq yeah let's do that let's go break down some of the smp and shit real quick just to look into this right like we've been in this little bear market since november last year it's november this year right one full year right and now we're getting this big breakout we have this like you could say let's get uh this out of the way here you can say there's this downward channel happening and we've been in this for weeks right since august weeks in this downward channel um kept projecting right we can go in on the two day right look how many times we got rejected in here and now we break up over and it looks like we're we're moving now right now let's think about what is happening in the world right so wait what's this nasdaq okay look at the s p here similar right all year since november right january just sideways choppy downward action it's a bear market and uh now we're getting this push upward right especially the last freaking week man last week was huge um especially the last couple days of last week now what's happening right so things are turning around on the nasdaq the s p the dow jones the russell right so the stock market is turning around right let's look at the us dollar right us dollar what's happening the us dollar is dipping okay this is interesting okay us dollars dipping what's happening to us oil Hmm, U.S. oil is starting to base out. Okay, um, overall it's it's decreased, right? It, um, it's it's taking quite a hit. Um, Bitcoin, what's happening with Bitcoin? Crushed, getting crushed in the crypto space. Whole crypto space right now is a fucking fiasco because lots of fraud going on. People are losing trust. Um, so right now, I'm thinking this is the time for growth tech s p nasdaq this is the time for stocks for the next little bit i don't know how long it's going to be but for the next little bit right they say it's a santa claus rally this is going to be all about tech stocks all about growth stocks right so i'm watching like lemonade ai and the reason why i think this right the reason why i think that's happening is because there's money leaving crypto where do you think that money is going right the U.S. dollar's topping out. I don't know exactly um, if that correlates to like stocks going up, but from what I understand, um, think about 2020, right? U.S. dollar was getting hit. Uh, the U.S. dollar goes down. 2021, U.S. dollar going, you know, like let's check a look, take a look at that, right? There's got to be some correlation going on here. So. All of 2020, U.S. dollars going down. This leads into like, we'll say mid 2021, right? Think about all that action. 2020 up until mid 2021, everything was pretty much going up, everything. And then we have this huge rally in the U.S. dollar since then, mid 2021, all the way up until now, right? September 2022. What happened? Everything's getting crushed in the markets, right? Tech stocks crushed, um, crypto crushed. A lot of things are getting destroyed. Besides, like commodities and metal. I mean, metals they're getting pretty crushed too. But just commodities, really. Um, oil, right? Um, shit like that. Now we're seeing this huge sell-off here on the Dixie, which is the U.S. dollar, crypto. But look at this. Tech stocks, boom, getting this huge lift. Um, S&P, like stocks look good right now and stocks look good right now. So this is what I'm looking at. Lemonade. These are a few stocks I really like. Um, look at this, right? We've been downward trending on this stock since January, 2021. So it's been almost two years, right? Of a bear market. And we're starting to go sideways here, right? Look at this. 
this zone here we're starting to go sideways we're going to zoom in because i already have a bunch of indicators and stuff marked out but look this is giving me signs here that we're starting to reverse this trend, right? There's a bunch of bullish action coming in. Bullish hammer, bullish engulfing. Look at the volume coming in. Large bouts of volume. We're, we're beating earnings. Um, we're breaking out of patterns. We're consolidating sideways in an orderly manner, right? Like, all of this shit is mad fucking bullish, bro. This is on Lemonade. Let's look at AI, right? Big booty bottom AI. Look at this. We're just gathering in this space. And now the numbers are moving clean when we're coming off the bottom, right? Coming off the bottom, 20%. Coming off the bottom here, 25%. 12%. This is huge. We're basing around here for a potential move up higher, right? This is at $14 now, like 120% just to get up back to $44. And I think that that's 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 reasonable for that name right um what other stocks can we look at shopify let's check out shopify i'm happy to finally got some shares of shopify look at this so oversold this company is used by many creators many um online uh stores use this platform like this is way oversold right let's look at the rsi here massive divergence on the rsi right? This had a low of 20 on the RSI. Like over time, this is the stock's going to come back up to these levels. Um, this price, look, look, we're basing sideways and now we're finally starting to escape. Like this looks good, right? Let's look at Amazon, right? Like, again, I'm just going through a bunch of random of random stocks that kind of lead and like Amazon does not want to be down here. It's like ex trying to escape these lows real bad. Okay. Let's see what we got. Tech stocks. Apple huge triangle going on from 2020 on apple one two three four five touches we're starting to coil up nice and tight here so i'm thinking on apple man in the next little while right for the rest of this year say what happens if we are bullish for the rest of the year that's six weeks if we do something like this that leaves us in a position where let's say we're at the beginning of 2023 and you know we could either come back down or we get the breakout right it'll leave us at an interesting position and it makes sense like it really does make sense to me um and at that point whether we go down and break down further because of macroeconomics and shit going on in the world who knows but it makes sense right now um we've been so bearish over the past little while and like to have all of this money leaving other markets coming into tech stocks and growth stocks again it just makes sense so that's my overall thesis and like kind of like my outlook on the markets right now uh, i don't know if all this shit's gonna happen again this is me speculating like i really don't know fuck all man i'm just doing research and you know trying to piece together my thoughts and trying to understand trends and markets myself but i think that's what i'm reading here and um i'm gonna try to pay attention to um to a lot of these um these things that i've been mentioning over the next few weeks so I've opened a few positions, right? I'm getting into the Shopify's now, right? I'm starting to look more into, you know, the AI. I want to add some of that. Twitter. Let's check out Twitter. That's another one. This stock, I am mad interested in this stock. Elon's doing something very special, I think, with Twitter. Um, I don't want to sleep on it. I do think, right, this is a major zone here at 69. And I, 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 why is it that Elon always loves these fucking funny numbers, man? 69, that's the level. Um... If we can break up over 69, this thing's mooning. I'm telling you, this thing's going to be one of those stocks and companies that Elon just takes to the moon. Um, but again, we're finally breaking out of these 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 uh, patterns here. Markets are starting to look way more interesting in terms of like tech stocks and shit. Crypto, eh, but tech stocks, right? Look at all these tech stocks I've got destroyed. Shopify, Google, Microsoft, AI, Tesla, Palantir. Right. Think about Palantir. They're a huge cybersecurity company. What's going on with all the crypto shit right now? Right. Right. What's happening is they need more trust. They need more people like they need more regulation and they need more like protocols to protect their funds. I don't know if Palantir could play a part in that due to the cybersecurity shit, but I'm imagining they probably will. Like they have a huge Palantir is a huge player in the like cybersecurity space and that's what companies spend money on 
right? Hackers, preventing hackers. Again, this is a pr- this is a long rant, but uh, I don't know. A lot of shit happened in the last few weeks, so these are the breakdowns. P- check, uh, please, if you can check out the crypto video I just posted. I feel like that has a bunch of info in it about the crypto space and like my uh, thoughts on it. But uh, this is what we're looking at, right? Um, let's see a bunch of good shit happen in uh, the growth stocks and test tech stocks for the ten the, to end the year. Now I'm just rambling and stuttering. That's hilarious. Let's see the Santa Claus rally uh, lift off here. Peace, guys.